ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to part 6 of the Cold War Warrior campaign in DCS 2.5. Now in this mission we are again tasked with uh, attacking a uh, German MLRS battery uh, formation on the road however. It is uh, different from the uh, previous strikes on the MLRS and the artillery when they were on the field and they were actually in firing position this time they're going to be in road uh, in uh, sort of like a moving position on the road in the formation uh, in a column formation so again you guys can uh, pause the video and read the uh, situation here from what I understand is that the uh, Soviet forces have uh, regained their um, their momentum and they're now on the offensive against the uh, German forces here so that's that's one thing now again the objective here says that the West West German uh, rocket artillery battalion 122nd has been observed operating in the rear area of the 12th Panzer Division and poises a serious threat to the envelopment uh, envelopment uh, maneuver of the 16th Guard Tank Division High Command has tasked a strike package against this MLRS battalion this package uh, departs the rendezvous point at 18.50, time on target 18.57. So it's a uh, afternoon strike. Okay, target, as said, strike a MLRS rocket artillery battalion of the West German 133rd rocket artillery battalion in a road column formation. So they're not in firing position, they're in a road column formation. And here we are, we're back with the package again. So this time we're going to have uh, multiple and uh, multiple uh, friendly um, fighters and ground attack uh, units with us um, we're not going to be just by ourselves me and my wingman like the previous two episodes where it was highly dangerous because we lacked the uh, um, the sweep flights the hunter 1 hunter 2 um, mig 23 um, top cover flights uh, again, it's a similar sort of threats that we've come to um, used to now. We we become we're getting used to them now. Uh, the Rollins, the Hawks, the Gepards, but particularly the F4E Phantoms are the most dangerous to us. Okay, so let's go through the waypoints. So takeoff time is 18:35. Rendezvous, which is waypoint two, 18:50. IP 18:56 right here waypoint 3 strike 1857 which is right here waypoint 4 so let's take a closer look so strike is going to be here it's going to be an MLRS uh, um, column on the road sort of either stationary or on the road moving they're not going to be in firing position but however they will be guarded by some sort of either AAA or man pads so we're going to reach the IP here in this town we're going to find them on this road and we're going to strike them. Now for this mission I have taken, I've given myself and my wingman around 24 FAB 100s. So that should be interesting. Let's get started. You know what guys, there's something cool that I just noticed. I can, I can hear the raindrops hitting my canopy. That has to be new to 2.5. How cool is that? I can hear, I'm not sure if it's coming through the video. But I can sort of hear the rain hitting my cockpit. Thank you. 
Okay, so this time, guys, I'm slightly... The aircraft is slightly overweight. So I need to hold the brakes down, go power all the way to 100%, then release. I'm going to need every inch of this runway. I could go flaps down, but... Mm, I don't know. Okay. Okay, so as usual, I'm early by one minute. Let me make the aircraft perfectly aligned. There we go. Okay, brakes. I could go flaps down, but I probably won't do it. No, we'll try it. Okay, 100% power, then release the brakes. Now. Alright guys, wish me luck. I hope I can take off before uh, the the uh, road wheels explode. Oh, there's a lot of crosswind. There we go. Rotating. There we go. That wasn't too bad. For a second I thought I was not going to leave the ground. Because the aircraft is just slightly overweight. Okay, landing gear up. It's a complete forecast. It's like a uh, like a rainstorm. I think the cloud base is around uh, a thousand, which is really really bad for me because that means that I can't see the see my uh, target. There we go. But it looks uh, amazing. Okay, let's try and level off at about, say, 3000. Okay guys, welcome back. I am 8 kilometers from the rendezvous point and 2 minutes early. I've been trailing these two air these two uh, fellas right here. These two aircraft. I know they're friendly, but I don't know what they are. Oh, they're, they're SG-25s. I thought they were MiG-23s, but no. I think I am about a minute and a couple of seconds early. These guys are also early. They're doing a uh, a racetrack pattern, waiting for everybody else to catch up. Now, one thing that I wanted to tell you guys is so it's so easy to get disorientated flying above the clouds like this. And also, you have to watch out when you want to descend below the clouds. You have to be really careful where you do it. So we have just uh, crossed over the rendezvous point. I'm going to put the aircraft into a gentle, actually not a gentle, it's actually quite a, quite a uh, sharp turn, but I'm going to try and turn and also descent at the same time. Let me turn down the volume of the w RWR, it's just so annoying. Okay, 
Ah, uh, there we go. There they are. Fantastic. Okay. So let me complete the right hand turn. And we'll get right behind them. I want to drop down below the clouds as well. But I have to watch my radar altim altimeter so I don't hit, hit the side of a mountain. You have to be really careful when you go through clouds and there's significant terrain below you like a mountain or something okay here we go we're moving through the clouds now I'm flying completely using my instruments now I'm looking at the radar altim altimeter okay okay so we came back through the clouds okay let's try it again let's try again but you, it, this was actually quite good to demonstrate to you guys how easy it is to get disorientated in uh, conditions like this okay I'm moving back up again Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There's my wingman. But you guys saw how easy it was to get disorientated. Like I thought I was moving down, but I was moving back up actually. So there's the rest of the package ahead of me. Okay, let me get orientated. So we're heading towards the IP and after the IP it's the strike point I believe yep we're looking for a formation of uh, MLRS artillery and some trucks and supporting vehicles now the reason why I was saying this is not a good this is not good weather for the type of weapon I'm carrying is that the uh, you need to have some some altitude when you want to release those weapons like that and a thousand meters is just at the limit because the, the base of the clouds is just almost a thousand meters maybe even a little less so this might not go really well now if I switch over to the actual strike waypoint steer point whatever you want to call it so where is the target exactly in relation to me I'm not going to spot these guys. Okay. I think I have eyes on. Might have eyes on. Okay. So let me tell my wingman to go and engage. Okay, this is going to be difficult guys, it's going to be difficult for me to spot. Okay, so the target is over there, let me see. Okay, where is the target? Okay, 
So this is where my wingman is headed. I just can't see them. Where are they? One kilometer, so we must be directly on top of them. Yes, there they are. Right there. Don't go through the clouds, don't go through the clouds, oh man, this is difficult. They must right between those trees on the road. Okay, so I'm gonna make one pass with everything that I have. This is really, really bad, guys. It's I should have picked rockets. I didn't know the weather is going to be this bad. Okay, let me turn around. Let me see what I can do. There they are. Okay, laser on. There they are. Everything away. Hopefully we got everything. Heading home. Full power. Let me go through the clouds. Get away from everything. Okay, let me cease dispensing. I hope I'm going the right way. I hope I'm going the right way. I think I am, yeah. Getting locked by... Oh! Lunch! Lunch, lunch, lunch! Okay, 
Lunch. Still dispensing. Let me cease dispensing. It was a medium range uh, AAA that had me locked. But this crosswind is making it really, really difficult. I'm almost full right rudder. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. Come on. There we go, touchdown. Parachute out. Okay, guys, uh, here we are, the debrief screen. Um, now, I'm not sure if which side of this you have to have this tab on to show your victories because it says show my victories. But overall, the blue team lost 13 vehicles. Now, I'm not sure if that was me. I don't think it was. Now here I've sort of uh, sorted the log by the weapons that we use. We used FAB 100s. So we dropped a total of uh, 26 I believe. And we splashed the Stinger Mampad Soldier and M113s and another Stinger Mampad Soldier. Except for that we hit some green ash and some shrubbery. Yeah. So you guys will have seen a much better view by now in the uh, external view, uh, hoping that the um, replay system actually works. The replay file, it hasn't corrupted or anything. You guys would have seen exactly how the, uh, the uh, bombs have impacted. So ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you so, so much for watching. Please leave a like to let me know that uh, you're enjoying the video and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.